Another big story on the COVID front. The health ministry has now called for tighter screening at airports for passengers coming from South Africa, Hong Kong and Botswana, where a new variant of COVID uh, B.1.1529 has been found with multiple mutations and has led to a surge in infections. The Union Health Secretary's letter to state says that multiple cases of this COVID variant have been reported in Botswana, South Africa and even one case in Hong Kong. And this variant is reported to have a significantly higher number of mutations and therefore has serious public health implications for the country. So they've asked for better screening and checking of uh, passengers who've come in from these countries. Uh, well, to talk more about this, uh, we are now joined by Dr. Hemant Deshmukh, a Dean KEM Hospital, and Dr. Suranjit Chatterjee, Senior Consultant, Internal Medicine in the Prasna Polo Hospital. Thank you so much, uh, doctors, for joining us. And Dr. Deshmukh, first to you, this was always something that was expected and, uh, you know, anticipated that there will be some new variant emerging. So what do we know so far about this particular variant and what does it mean that it can evade immunity? Uh, good morning, Gargi. Uh, this new COVID variant uh, is uh, the spike protein is dramatically different from the previous strains or the previous uh, COVID uh, virus, as you can say. And since this uh, spike protein is totally different, uh, this virus is likely to mutate a lot of times as compared to the previous COVID-19 virus. And hence, this COVID variant is can be designated as, uh, you know, variant of interest, variant of concern, or probably right now it is a variant of under investigation. Now, when we say that this is a variant under investigation, it simply means that anybody who is tested positive from these countries, which are high risk countries like South Africa, Botswana or Hong Kong, most of these patients who would test positive, their samples would be definitely sent for genome sequencing. And what we would learn from this genome sequencing is going to have a profound impact on the amount of testing, tracing and surveillance that would be required in the public health domain. Now, this COVID variant uh, can only be eliminated by testing and tracking and it is it is very important for us to understand that the visa restrictions which are going down the restrictions on travel are being lifted and a lot of travelers are going to be transiting through these three countries and hence it is very important for us to understand that all these patients who are coming would have a good surveillance mechanism at all the entry points of the uh, country all right. Uh, we do know that, that that perhaps the name of this uh, variant might be new. That's something that WHO is considering. Uh, Dr. Chatterjee, the worry is that it could affect those who've already been vaccinated already. We've been seeing quite a few breakthrough cases. Oh, it could basically what is being speculated that it could have an immune escape phenomena. And even if you are vaccinated, that this disease can infect you. Obviously, there are still quite a few holes in the, uh, we need to study more about this variant. There are quite a few ho holes in the knowledge about this variant. But yes, what can be speculated that whether it can be more serious, whether it is more transmissible. So it is very, very important that when a new strain comes in and when a new mutant variant comes in, we need to be very careful because it is a health concern, it is a public health concern, because even in vaccinated people, it can infect large number of people. That's what we have seen in South Africa. So that's why we need to be careful about it. Right, Dr. Sunila Garg, already, you know, there's been a push that uh, there, there's a need for a booster dose of the vaccine. That's, you know, from many quarters, we're hearing that. Many doctors in Maharashtra, we believe, have already got that booster dose. Uh, so this makes a case for the booster dose if we're having these new variants that have this escape immunity. Yeah, Gargi, this is a very important issue which you have raised and the same problem continues to be in Africa also. There we have seen that almost 41% have received one dose and 30% plus have received just two doses. And they're thinking of, you know, expediting their vaccine paces with regard to two doses. So similar is the case in Indian context also, where we have got approximately, you know, about 83% uh, of the eligible population which has been vaccinated with one dose and 43% plus who have been vaccinated with the two dose. So the need of the R is to quickly vaccinate everybody with two doses of vaccination 
vaccination and then we should think about you know our evolving vaccination strategy and think about the boosters so as of now we will say that we are seeing low infections because we had you know lot of natural infections and we had 119 crore of the vaccination doses so it is very important to look from that perspective the viruses will come and go but they have to find a susceptible host that is important and susceptible host will not be there if all of us are protected you know either you know through the vaccination that is number one case and two doses of vaccination and the second part is with regard to the natural immunity which we had in good numbers so we should not wait for that and the third part is along with that you see covid appropriate behavior should not be let down at any cost because this is one thing where you know we cannot predict the course of the infection it could be turning towards endemicity or we could have pockets of you know high infections also similarly you know and we have you know variations like we have seen in uh, africa the virus has already undergone you know at the level of spike protein 32 rounds of mutation so that is another important thing and very quickly we have seen 22 cases also so we have to be very vigilant with regard right. to genome sequencing also that right. is important in fact that has been a concern about whether we're doing enough in aggressive uh, genome sequencing it already seems that in many parts of the country you know the covid story was almost over we see large gatherings you know uh, th there are uh, rallies there are all kinds of events also happening uh, dr deshmukh already we've seen one case in karnataka from a medical college there in dharwar in which you know there's been a big number of cases among students 66 cases of uh, covid all of them have been vaccinated and uh, the good news is that all of the, uh, that the cases are mild over there but such uh, incidents we need to keep an eye out for even uh, the uh, army officers at an iim a bunch of them also just tested positive yeah uh, when we say that there are breakthrough infections of covid-19 it simply means that probably the various uh, virus which are getting infected to already people who have been vaccinated should definitely be sent for genome sequencing one part and the second most important thing would be universal masking which which we cannot avoid uh, at any cost and universal masking is going to protect most of the population irrespective of which variant we are thinking of and the second most important thing is the host is important because the virus is getting replicated the virus is getting a, a different strain and the amount of genome sequencing that uh, is going to throw up the knowledge about the genes and the virus itself is going to have serious implications on the way that we are going to have a protective mechanism in the country to avoid getting infected since the spike protein is different i i don't think the vaccine is going to help so we have to see to it that universal masking social distancing is going to be of paramount importance uh, uh, right. in probably 2022 right dr sarenjit we keep saying this that you know continue practicing covid appropriate behavior but it's quite clear if you watch the news if you see you know the events that are taking place that's not really happening absolutely true you saw the festivals luckily the surge hasn't happened at least in the northern part of the country in delhi the surge hasn't happened at least this absolute inappropriate behavior i observe it even in the hospitals how people even in the hospitals when they come are not wearing masks and all that so totally inappropriate behavior is happening in this country and as i would agree with all the other panelists that if we don't have a covid appropriate behavior then we are not ending this pandemic this is going to continue because viruses are known to mutate and every other day we'll have a new variant so it is absolutely mandatory that we follow this protocol right and continue with you know aggressive testing genomic sequencing and you know spot where we see these surges or clusters of uh, covid cases i'm out of time thank you so much uh, doctors for joining us on the program this morning thank you thank you